Good day, everyone. It is so nice to have you here in our English time. I am Teacher Joanne, your Grade Five English teacher. Today, we will be discussing about the viewpoints of images, specifically stereotypes. Remember to listen carefully to avoid misunderstanding on the lesson. Ready your pens and papers for your notes of our lesson for today. So, what is stereotype? Stereotypes are beliefs that all people within the same gender, age, or cultural group will act alike and will share the same viewpoints and attitudes. They ignore unique identity, which is why it is considered as a form of discrimination. They are considered as exaggerated beliefs and generalizations without allowing individual personalities, which create positive and negative acceptance and affects the different groups. They may be true to some, but not to all. Stereotyping can have positive or negative effects to individuals and certain groups. Just remember, we all possess unique characteristics and skills. Again, whether positive or negative, any form of stereotyping should not be tolerated nor accepted. There are different kinds of stereotypes. First, we have the gender profiling or the gender stereotypes. Gender stereotypes are simplistic generalizations about the gender attributes, differences, and roles of individuals or groups. Stereotypes can be positive or negative, but they rarely communicate accurate information about others. When people automatically apply gender assumptions to others regardless of evidence to the contrary, they are perpetuating gender stereotyping. Many people recognize the dangers of gender stereotyping, yet continue to make these types of generalizations. Traditionally, the female stereotypic role is to marry and have children. She is also to put her family's welfare before her own, be loving, compassionate, caring, nurturing, and sympathetic. While the male stereotypic role is to be the financial provider of the family. He is also to be assertive, competitive, independent, courageous, career-focused, and hold his emotions in check. Another kind of stereotyping is what we call the age stereotype, or commonly known as ageism. According to World Health Organization, Ageism is the stereotyping and discrimination against individuals or groups on the basis of their age. Ageism can take many forms, including prejudicial attitudes, discriminatory practices, or institutional policies and practices that perpetuate stereotypical beliefs. For example, older people are called weak and incompetitive while the young ones are strong and energetic. Some people say that old people love the state of quietness, and others say that the older you get, the more mature you become. The last one is the cultural stereotyping. Cultural stereotyping is when someone has an opinion on another person based on who they are, where they're from, or the language they speak without getting to know the individual. For example, Asians are extremely intelligent. Another is Black Americans noted as drug dealers and abusive people, while the white ones are rich and smart. And that's it for our lesson for today. This has been Teacher Mary Jo on CPAD. Thank you for listening.